Good day. Um, I am Atul Manoj. I am. I had secured AIR 29 in the NEET UG 2019, and I am here to share my strategy for the last three months for the NEET exam. First of all, I'd like to say that I am. Uh, I had cleared the NEET without taking a drop yet. So I will also include how you can manage your boards and the how can you prepare no prepare side by side as an apparel preparation for both the entrance exam as well as the boards. And it is not that difficult. It is a myth that they are two completely different things. The syllabus is the same. The portions are the same. The subjects are the same. It is very easy to prepare them side by side. First of all, I would uh, say that during the last three months, you should do question papers. Now, by now, you should have finished most of the syllabus. You should have uh, gone through or done questions or uh, studied the entirety of what needs to be known for the exam. Now, you should focus on applying that. How do you do this? by practicing papers. You should at least try to do the uh, subject wise papers, whole syllabus mind you, as in you should do the whole syllabus papers of physics or chemistry or biology or uh, say for example 60 questions uh, of physics or chemistry or biology in say 60 minutes. You can also attempt whole papers like past year papers preferably those after 2000 or 2001 and do one paper per day and you should after that analyze those papers. Now it is a waste of time to just simply keep doing question papers without analyzing them. So first and foremost after you do the paper in the fixed time you should look at how many you had left, how many questions that is how many mistakes that you had made and finally what you had gotten right. So how do you analyze a paper? First we look at the, what we do, like left, what we did not know. We have to go through those concepts or we have to look at sample questions. Similarly, for, what you have, for all the mistakes you had made, you should try and figure out why have I made this mistake? Why have I, uh, what type of mistake is it? Is it a lack in concept? Is it a calculation error? Is it a mistake in reading the question or understanding what the question wants me to answer? And you should try and rectify those. You have more than two months and this is ample time for you to correct these small small mistakes and this will help you boost your performance. Another thing I would like uh, to share is in physics, uh, you all probably know derivations are a thing that everyone fears. But I request all of you to just understand the derivations. Don't muck them up. When you understand the derivations and you try and apply these to problems, uh, you will find that it makes problem solving much easier. Also, we find that many of these questions are just small deviations from derivations especially the more difficult questions. Another thing is that in uh, say physics or chemistry, you should always uh, try to understand the problem, except for factual based questions where there is nothing we can do, but try and memorize them. This is especially true for inorganic chemistry, chemistry in everyday life and uh, small chapters like semiconductors. There are conceptual parts to those. But you should try and retain the facts. And for this, for factual knowledge, please do not go further than the NCRT, especially for biology, as biology is mostly a factual subject. Now, another common mistake that I have seen or what I have experienced is that when we do a paper quickly, we tend to miss out on small, small things in the question. For example, a question says all other things except or they use the word did not. This changes the entire meaning of the question. And especially when it comes to MCQs, we find that, you know, that small change completely changes the answer. And this is how 
a lot of mistakes are made, especially in biology, which is supposed to be the easiest subject. Now, in regards to board preparations, I have already talked about derivations. Similarly, for uh, chemistry and biology, you should just keep the concepts in mind. You know, you should keep revising the facts because these same facts in MCQs will be asked to you and in the theory paper, you will have to put them down in the paper. So that is the main fundamental difference. In the MCQ paper, they will ask you the facts directly. While in the theory paper, you just have to be prepared to write them down in the appropriate question uh, or however it is asked. Finally, I would uh, like to uh, say that during this period, I would recommend that you read the NCRT thoroughly. And uh, I don't mean as in you sit for two, three hours per chapter. What I mean is you should try and finish as many chapters as you can per day, lightly reading them, looking through the highlighted points and uh, so on and so forth. Like for example, you can try and finish the entirety of the syllabus in two weeks and you keep repeating this till the uh, day of the exam. And this will really help you in retaining the facts, especially when you keep rereading the facts, eventually they will come automatically to your mind. When, and when you couple this with solving questions, this will make the accuracy of your sol problem solving much better. And this will help you in cracking the exam. Finally, I would like to tell you all to relax before the day of the exam. The day before the exam, you should try and clear your mind, be calm, do absolutely nothing, as in no studying, uh, you know, just be focused, be relaxed, and have faith that all the preparation that you have done for the past one, two, three, or even four years, some people have been doing coaching for four years, all of this will come down and it will help you. All of this hard work will pay off. Just have faith in that and thank you.